The 21st century, at least the first half of it, is not going to be quiet. The world's begun to shake thoroughly, and this shaking is intensifying. The usual shooting on the border of Gaza and Israel. Syria is blazing, and China is carnivorous looking at Taiwan, increasing the tension around this island. Not to mention that a large-scale war started almost in the center of Europe, in Ukraine. And in this situation, Japan feels very uncomfortable. Next to Russia, China, and North Korea are three totalitarian aggressive countries that even have nuclear weapons. Therefore, the decision by the samurai country to have the most modern weaponry is more than understandable, capable of countering the Russian Sushkas and Chinese Chengdu. We'll tell you what's interesting about this program, and at the same time, our viewers will find out why Japan is going straight for a sixth generation fighter without building a fifth generation machine. Let's start with the last question. Formerly, Japan has still created its fifth generation fighter, which the country has been developing since 2004. To date, only one prototype is ready, which made its first flight on April 22, 2016. It's a single seat aircraft with a wingspan of about 9 meters and a length of 14.2 meters. The weight of the empty machine is about 9,700 kilograms. The new Japanese aircraft is similar in size to the Swedish Saab Gripen light fighter, and the shape is close to the American F-22 Raptor fighter. The size and angle of the Japanese fighter's vertical plumage, as well as the shape of the influx and air intakes, are identical to those used on the US's fifth generation fighter. In 2005, the Mitsubishi X-2 airframe was tested for radar visibility. According to a Japanese Defense Ministry spokesman, the effective dispersion area of the prototype is larger than that of an insect, but smaller than that of an average-sized bird. So it'll be very difficult to detect such a bird on the radar. It's known that the fighter has two turbojet engines and can reach supersonic flight speed without using an afterburner. The prototype has the IHI XF5-1 engines with a controlled thrust vector, three pedals at the nozzle of each jet engine are responsible for diverting the jet stream. So the Japanese have a solid groundwork to storm such a difficult peak as a sixth generation fighter. By the way, Mitsubishi X-2 owes its appearance to the Americans. More precisely, to the offense that the Americans inflicted on the Japanese. When the USA created its well-known F-22 Raptor, the first stealth fighter in the world, Japan, as a faithful ally, counted on getting a certain quantity of the F-22, or Raptor. But unexpectedly, the US Congress banned the sale of F-22 because of fears that the technology used in it would become known to the Russians and Chinese. The descendants of the proud samurai were offended and decided to create their fifth generation fighter. So the Mitsubishi X-2 was born, which immediately got into a scandal. The Japanese military unexpectedly refused to continue financing the project to bring the prototype to an aircraft that can be put into service. The reason is expensive. The cost of the production prototype aircraft developer Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is estimated at $215 million. The Japanese military refused and bought American F-35s for $219 million. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was outraged, but the scandal was hushed up, promising the company that it had become the lead developer of the sixth generation fighter that received the F-3 index. So the Americans are happy as well since the Japanese began to buy the F-35 from them, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is not complaining, having received a tidbit and expensive project. According to the F-3 program submitted by the Japanese Defense Ministry, by the mid-2030s, the F-3 was to replace 97 F-2 fighter bombers, a deeply reworked version of the American F-16, as well as 200 very old F-15Js. The cost of the program is $45 billion. Now for the technical details of this new Japanese aircraft. Although it'll be based on Mitsubishi X-2 technology, its appearance has not yet been determined, and is at the concept stage. But some information on the stuffing is already available. For example, the fighter will be equipped with two engines, most likely XF-91 with a deflected thrust vector and a thrust at a break-even speed of 15,000 to 16,500 each. This, by the way, is comparable to the Predator thrust. Its two engines, F-119 PW-100, give 15,876 kilograms of thrust, and it's comparable with the thrust of the Russian AL-41 F-1, which is on the Russian fifth-generation fighter Su-57. Its thrust is 15,000 kgf. 
However, the Russians are threatening to put on their stealth some new engine, which is mysteriously called Product 30. And there, the thrust will be considerably higher. In short, the Japanese engine cannot be called something outstanding, especially for use in a sixth-generation fighter. However, a more interesting aspect is the F-3's ability to generate 180 kilowatts of electricity to use for the needs of combat laser or electromagnetic directional weaponry, which will allow it to burn out the enemy's electronics at a considerable distance. The fighter also has six points of conventional armament, suspension, and internal compartments. The aircraft will be armed with six ASM-3 anti-ship missiles placed inside the fuselage. The ASM-3 has a speed of over Mach 3 and hits targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers. Frankly speaking, after the appearance of hypersonic weapons, these characteristics do not impress anymore. But as they say, it's not yet evening. We think that the Japanese developers will still surprise us. $45 billion can surely do wonders. Besides innovations in armament, Mitsubishi F-3 will get super powerful onboard equipment. Firstly, to control the aircraft is planned to use a man-machine interface, which will optimize the flow of data to facilitate the piloting and combat missions. Secondly, the body of the aircraft acting as radar antennas will also generate electronic jamming. In Mitsubishi, F-3 will be implemented as a super-fast system of processing and transmission of data from all means of observation and guidance, ranging from high-power ground radar. All these systems will be built on elements that can withstand high-power electromagnetic pulses. Data will be transmitted via optical fiber, and the aircraft control system will allow automatic loss compensation. The sixth-generation fighter is, of course, a stealth fighter. We've already said above that, according to the Japanese Ministry of Defense, the effective dispersion area of the Mitsubishi X-2 is equal to that of an average-sized bird. Nothing is currently known about this figure for the F-3, but there is information that Japanese engineers are going to achieve invisibility is quite a revolutionary technology. In modern stealth aircraft, invisibility is achieved because a special coating absorbs radio waves, plus a special shape of the fuselage, which what little is left of the radio waves reflects anywhere but in the direction of the radar. True, all this works well in the decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter range, but for meter radio waves, the airplane is perfectly visible. But the Japanese are still going to use a material that transmits radio waves. It's fantastic. To be honest, it's not clear how they're going to do it. Also, the plane will be installed a plasma antenna, which will generate plasma that can change its physical properties and absorb long radio waves. Experts believe that in this way, the aircraft will also be invisible in the meter wave range. Each F-3 will be able to control a flock of up to three drones, which can be equipped with either reconnaissance equipment or missiles. The drones will improve the offensive capabilities of the aircraft while significantly, but this is no longer new. The Russians have developed and even tested the Su-70 stealth drone for their fifth-generation fighter Su-57, and the Su-57 can control three such assistants. What's new is the interesting technology of joining airframe parts. The Japanese are going to do it not with rivets, but with glue. This will reduce the weight of the construction and add to its rigidity. It does not say anything about the presence of artificial intelligence on board and, accordingly, the absence of a pilot. We think that, as with other countries, Generation 6 Fighter Project's two variants will be developed in parallel with and without a pilot. Whether it'll be possible to fulfill all the existing plans is unknown. So far, the F-3 project is in its earliest stages, and even the general shape of the aircraft has not been determined. But the Japanese are determined this time to bring their next-generation aircraft to production and operation because China alone has more than 3,000 aircraft, most of which belong to the 4 Plus and 4 Plus Plus generation, J-10 and J-11B fighters, and more than 150 fifth generation fighters, J-20, plus the Russian Su-35 and Su-57. Japan simply has to counter something meaningful to this armada. Otherwise, no one will take the descendants of the samurai into account. The world is still governed by the principle that the stronger is the right. Write about it in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel. There will be more interesting videos about modern armaments.